George is on the scene in Florida where another community is in disbelief, shocked by devastating violence, this time at that Florida high school on Valentine's Day. This image, one that has become all too familiar, students evacuating with their hands up. It is a huge school, 10 buildings, more than 3,000 students, consistently voted one of the safest communities in America. 17 people have been killed, students and adults. This is the 18th school shooting already this year. It is just mid-February. I have the gunshot victim. He's by the entrance on the west side of the school. Does he know where the shooter is? We don't know, but we're entering the building. The school shooting in Colorado this week has focused our attention again on tragedies happening on campus and periodically in the classroom. Another school plunged into terror by gun violence this week. On Tuesday afternoon, two students are alleged to have opened fire during class. Roughly a month after the 20th anniversary of the massacre at Columbine High School. Schools across the area were locked down last month in reaction to threats related to the anniversary. Tuesday's attack is the second U.S. school shooting in as many weeks. Last year saw the highest number of school shootings in recent years, including two dozen that left 35 people dead. Shots fired with a student down at Hug High School. Outside, chaos, students streaming out of the building, some running, many with their hands on their heads, a sea of backpacks abandoned on the ground. Emergency vehicles rushing to the scene, paramedics in a race to save the wounded. These recent shootings come amid a nationwide debate about arming teachers. Classrooms across the country are already taking other safety measures, such as operating active shooter drills more frequently. The community now struggling to make sense of the unspeakable. You come to the conclusion this is just absolutely pure evil. You blame yourself because it could have been avoided. This has been a day we've seen the worst in humanity. Tomorrow is going to bring out the best in humanity as we come together to move forward from this unspeakable tragedy. I never thought I'd have to talk about this. Like I never thought like it could happen here of all places. Every time I walk these halls, I'm reminded of that day, and I would never have expected it to happen in a school like this. He was just very focused. He was very focused on what he was doing. 
And that's, yeah. I was in the classroom and all of my hair was shot. And I was just like, oh my gosh, what's happening? They were a dedicated and a fantastic student. I never would have expected it to have been them. Police descended on the K through 12 school. Students were evacuated and anxious parents waited outside. 